I arrived in Washington after grad school to start my career. And actually I wound up in this neighborhood and I was overwhelmed by how beautiful and convenient it was. We've been very blessed to raise our family here, uh, right in this community. My involvement with the hospital actually started uh, when I was chair of the Special Gifts Committee for the Arlington Free Clinic. About a year later, I was then diagnosed with stage four cancer and given about six months to live. As a radiation oncologist, uh, fundamentally my goal is to use radiation to eradicate cancer cells deep within someone's body. Uh, I work closely together with medical oncologists who administer chemotherapy with surgical oncologists. I first met Mr. Foster over 10 years ago upon his original diagnosis of locally advanced head and neck cancer. I knew that as a architect that he would understand that in many ways the job that I have would be to create a blueprint of his treatment that would eradicate his cancer. What encouraged me the most was his passion, his enthusiasm, and his commitment to what he did and how he did it. It was an entirely different experience than any doctor's office I'd ever seen or been in. The community that we serve really embodies a community that takes care of one another. Thankfully, the Hospital Foundation has proven to be a very important, if not essential, component to the Radiation Oncology Department. It allowed us to um, be competitive and stay up to date with uh, state-of-the-art equipment. We have the most advanced technology as it pertains to radio surgeries. Our staff has been consistent and stable for the entire time that I've been here. And it's good to know that you can be a part of future solutions as well as current solutions. And the support from the foundation financially gives it that extra edge to make a difference.